Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Tip of the Week video. Mac OS Sierra has brought some changes to the App Store settings and the way that you can control how app updates are performed. So let's go ahead and uh, get into the App Store settings. You do that via System Preferences. You can do that either from a Spotlight Search, just search for System Preferences, or you can go up to the Apple icon up here and select System Preferences. Now, if you don't want to scan all the different icons within your System Preferences pane, you can search for it. So if I just type APP, right, the first page is App Store, select that one. You can see the highlighted icon there, hit return, and that will open up our settings. So just to run through some of the settings, now the first option is to automatically check for updates. Uh, I would recommend that you keep that switched on, that way you will be notified when new updates are available. You can download newly available updates in the background as well, so that uh, once an update is available, they will be downloaded automatically and then you just need to install them. By using these two other updates, you can go to the next level and install both app updates and also Mac OS updates automatically. Now it's personal choice, but I prefer not to switch these two settings on. I like to read the uh, update notes that come with them. I also like to wait for other people to try it out first, uh, just in case there are problems. And by leaving these unchecked, you can actually install these manually. The option I do keep on though, is to install system data files and security updates. Very important, and I would recommend that you keep that switched on. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have multiple Macs, say a desktop and a laptop, you can keep them in sync by automatically downloading apps purchased on other Macs to this particular device. So you just switch on this checkbox. If you don't want that to happen, just disable automatic downloads. But uh, I tend to leave that switched on. Finally, just a quick word about password settings. Now, you always will require a password or at least to authenticate using Touch ID if you have a MacBook Pro uh, when you make a purchase or an in-app purchase but you can either require it after 15 minutes. So the first time that you do it, you won't be prompted again, or you can say always require. Uh, I tend to leave it for require after 15 minutes. And then for free downloads, you can either require a password every time, or you can save a password. And what will happen then is that you'll be prompted for a password the first time that you do a free download, but from that point on, uh, you shouldn't need to do that. So there are the App Store settings in System Preferences. On iOS, it's slightly more simplified. If we go into settings, uh, we can scroll down and go to iTunes and App Store. And this is where we have our settings for automatic download. So currently music, apps, and books and audiobooks is switched on. So if I make any purchases on any other iOS devices, they will automatically download to this device. If I want my software updates, my application updates to automatically download and install, I switch on this option here. Now I can use mobile data as well, rather than just rely on Wi-Fi, I can now download updates using my mobile network. As far as iOS updates are concerned, if I come out of here, I go to general and then to software update, uh, they will appear here. And as you can see, I have the new update for iOS 10.2, which I'll go ahead and download and install manually. Now there's no setting for the automatic installation of iOS updates. Uh, this is something that you do have to do manually. So that's using the App Store settings on both Mac OS and iOS. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.